have her cranked up as a mile and eighth last time out in the shoe V. I get it. She's supposed to win that race, but maybe she's going to be get better going longer. She better be better in here because she is beating the big guns. It's the great one personal lens, and it kicks off. The Naira Betts late pick five with a $1 million minimum single ticket payout. The rematch between the one Abel Tasman and the six Elite. They were neck and neck to the wire, and in the end, Abel Tasman survived that steward's inquiry to get the victory. They go at it again. Here this afternoon, let's send it upstairs to the voice of New York Racing for the call. Here's Larry Comas. Farrell has moved into the starting gate and Elite at 9 to 5 odds takes up her spot in the outside stall. And they're all in line. They're off in the personal incident. Farrell had a great beginning. She goes straight out to the front. She takes heart is sent along after her. Elite is on the far outside a bit wide into that first turn, and Wildcat goes up into the mix too. While Mike Smith keeps Abel Tasman on the fence, just in behind the front runners into that turn. The trailer is furiously kissed. So around the clubhouse turn in the personal ensign, and she takes heart, will take the initiative here, scampering off to lead after a 23.31 opening quarter mile. She's got a three-length lead, and Farrell will let her do it, and Abel Tasman moves through on her inside now, and now they're head-in-head, -head, second and third. Break of another two-and-a-half to a late, racing to the inside of Wildcat. Furiously kissed is the trainer, and Abel Tasman's gonna take on She Takes Heart. Abel Tasman pokes her neck in front. She takes heart on the inside is second. Farrell just a length and a half off of them. Elite will sit the rail in fourth after a 46.62 half. The pace has been an honest one here with a half mile to run. Wildcats in a good stocking spot in fifth. Furiously kissed trails. Around the far turn, A. Bolt Tasman now by a length and a half. Farrell and Elite are right behind. Wildcats gonna move up on the outside. Take over fourth from She Takes Heart who's had enough. Then furiously kissed. Three quarters and one ten point two six. A Bolt Tasman is the leader as they come to the top of the stretch. And here comes Elite after her. And the two of them hook up again in the personal exit. A Bolt Tasman put to a drive. Elite takes it to her. What a furlong to run. They are nose to nose. Right for stride. A Bolt Tasman and Mike Smith. Elite and Jose Ortiz. Who's it going to be? A Bolt Tasman determined. Elite can't get by. in a final time of 1 minute 47.19 seconds. What a personal ensign. Not far off the track record in the two who met the Coaching Club American Oaks last year. Down the lane together again. Same result. It's Abel Tasman. That was awesome. I came out of my chair watching that stretch run. Watch Mike Smith on the inside. He waits forever to ask Abel Tasman to run. Actually, I thought he got headed at one point, and then he moves his hands, then he goes to the stick. She comes back on a very gamey lane and beats her. Right. Hello. There's, there's a little bit of bump there. Yeah, it's a little crazy here. Uh, Jose is going to be claiming foul here on the He's six. He's going to look at this. Yeah, they're going to take a look at this now. This is the second time Mike Hinton Smith is in the Hall of Fame because of his left hand. And when they come down the lane here, you're going to see Abel Tasman in front. Does the six look like he's going to go by, or she's going to go by? And then the momentum gets stopped, and there is some contact mid and lane here. Yeah, there's some contact, but I doubt they alter the order of finish. I just want to say, this was a tremendous horse race between two tremendous race horses, and this is what horse racing is all about. How about that? So these two have met twice in this historic racetrack. It's come down to these two neck and neck both times, and both times... Jose Ortiz and Elite have said, we need to look at this to the stewards. You know, they both actually move over a little bit, but I have to say, Abel Tausman moves over more. And there's definite contact there. I'm not saying it's a lot, but the margin of victory wasn't much either. This is something that we have to look at a little bit. Let's go downstairs to Maggie Wolfendale. Okay, here with Mike Smith, we'll let you go soon here, Mike. But you, uh, that's why you're the master. That's why you're big money, Mike. Uh, you knew how this track was playing. You were aggressive with her. You got the jump on Elite. That's what I tried to do, honestly. Uh, I guess I, I felt the track was playing real good. I liked towards the inside a little better today. And I was able to get there, get to where I wanted to be comfortable. We kind of come together just once and then twice at the end when he came back on me, but uh, it was really nothing. She was holding him off all the way around there. And you feel as though this is a fair uh, race and that you will remain 
Victoria. Well, good Lord's willing, but without a doubt, it was Lenny Fair. All right, guys. Well, Mike, congratulations to you. Abel is certainly Elaine's kryptonite. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. We'll see what plays out here. We'll let Mike get back so he can talk to his jurors, because obviously there is an inquiry and an objection. Meanwhile, Hall of Famer, two-time Triple Crown winning trainer Bob Baffert, waiting to see what the stewards' decision will be. And yeah, Mike Smith still needs to make his case to the stewards. Yeah, and that's a big part of it, right? Uh, the stewards are going to watch this head on. They can see what happened. They're going to ask each rider what they were doing down the lane, Mike hitting left-handed. Jose Ortiz bringing his horse over to Abel Townsend to make her more competitive late in the race as well. You put a straight line on these two horses right now. They both move over. There's no doubt about that. You make a great point there, Tom. The interesting part is there, there's no inquiry. There's only an objection here. There have not been an inquiry sign. So, um, I don't know if the stewards know what's going on, but you make a good point. It's probably, what, 65-35 or 60-40 maybe that, the, or that he came out? And they met. I, I'm going to say, and I agree with, with, with Tom, that Elaine was coming over. Now, there's no question Abel Tasman came out. I wish these jockeys would stop doing this and just ride their horse in a straight path. But be that as it may, I'm going to tell you something. I get the bumping, and there's a lot of ooing and eye going here. I wouldn't change this order of finish. I'm, I'm sort of with you and here. I, think, I wish they would, because I want Elaine to win. But I wouldn't change this order. I just don't think it does anything to the outcome. You, Tom, you think the six was going by? No, I, I don't think it's changed the outcome, but I'm, I'm curious as to Andy's comment. I don't think these riders did this on purpose. I mean, oh, they if you get hurt. hit left-handed, as Abel Tasman is, it's going to make you drift a little bit. And all Jose Ortiz is trying to do is make his horse competitive by putting him on the other horse. No one's meaning to make contact here. No, I say they're meaning to make contact, but they're constantly hurting. Riders are constantly coming that's, out to that's foes. That's race riding. That's, that's how you make a horse competitive. Well, you gotta look, let's look at the head-on again so we see. I, I'd like to go back to it again and go from where Elaine is, how many paths does she come in, and how many paths does Abel Tasman come out. I would say three to Abel Tasman at two. Let's see. One, two on the six, and about three, three and a half, maybe on... Uh, here is that. Do they make contact because Abel Tasman was coming out only, or because a lady was also coming in? I think if that's the case, how can they take it down? said that they're both moving. And how can they take it down? How can they take it down? I mean, do we know for sure that that bump, that one solid bump, happened because Abel Tasman was coming out, or because a lady was coming in, or both? And if it's both, you can't change your finish. Yeah, you can make the argument a late was coming in more than Abel Tasman was coming out. I'll, I'll tell you one other thing. I think the stewards took a lot of grief last year over this same two horses and the inquiry that happened and leaving it the same. I wonder if they're feeling any pressure. It, it's right. Is that it's weighing right. on their minds? Are they thinking, oh, we need to make a makeup call here? <laughs> no, sure really. Not, I, I, look, they're human beings, yeah. Yeah. you know? I don't. They don't think that way, and Tom's not suggesting they do, but that's a very interesting point, psychological way in their minds. One more look. Abel Tasman on the inside, a lane on the outside. They come together to meet each other. And because of that, it almost negates what the, each other did. And again, it, it is an objection. It is not a steward's inquiry. It was a jockey. Yes. Jose Ortiz that lodged this against Abel yeah, Tasman. That, that, I, I have to say, that surprises me. Why yeah, doesn't the inquiry sign up? I, They're supposed I, to look at this. I agree with you, too. And Jose Ortiz, if you watch the run out, he points at the camera immediately saying, I got fouled. He's basically telling you, and no there's change. no change. No change. And to me, listen, I picked Abel Tasman on top. There's got to be a jurisdiction. If a foul's a foul, a foul's a foul. I get it, but you cannot project a six was going by. I think they did make the right decision, I but Abel Tasman was more at fault than she was at Benelli. I think Abel Tasman probably was a little more at fault, but... If you're going to make takedowns, I don't care if it's a maiden claiming race or it's a great one. Same. It has to yeah. be an absolute decision. Otherwise, you've got to leave it up. And I just don't think they're supposed to make the change in this case. Well, look, I wish they had, personally. No matter